viewers welcome back to another video i know i've been away for two months again and i said that i was coming back and that things were settling down which they were but you know sometimes life happens that's all i'll say and um it did kind of push all of my reactions and and the things that i wanted to film on my channel for just a little while but i finally found some time today to film i'm sorry i'm laughing because of the title and because of the things that i'm gonna say today's video we have my thoughts on will schuster from glee and why he should be in prison i said it why mr schuster from glee should be in prison why is this why is he even a teacher that's my question you guys know me and you know that if you see my rant videos that when i analyze like i don't i'm so honest that even if it's gonna hurt your feelings i just don't care because when I'm being honest about a character, a fictional character at that, I'm just telling the truth and then come to find out that I'm not the only one feeling this way. So, and plus they're funny as hell in my analysis. <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, hello, my name is Joyce. I do makeup looks, reactions, reviews on TV shows, movies, plot lines, characters, and song covers. And if you stay on this channel, you will not regret one single second. But that is enough said, and without further ado, let's get on. I'm so excited because it's... Sorry, I'm so excited. Will Schuster is a teacher at McKinley High School. He teaches Spanish, and he is well known for coaching an after-school club, club called Glee. In the show, it has been said that he enjoys teaching music, and one of his biggest dreams was to be on Broadway. Yeah, that was one of his biggest dreams. That He said that a lot of times in the show, you know, and um, guess what? It didn't happen for him. Probably because he was too busy being kind of a creep and a p-word. You guys are going to understand why I'm saying that. His coaching has led his team to win and lose big singing competitions you know, regional, sectionals, nationals. And I think they won his, the, the first, the, the OG Glee Club. They won nationals once, and that was in season three. But they were always good at win winning sectionals until season four when the new girl, Marley, came and they lost at sectionals for the first time, which that's uh, that I'm going to talk about later in this video too. He was always good at making sure anyone who was in Glee had a place to belong, no matter the race, sexual orientation, size, etc. He was married to Terry Schuster for five years until she faked her pregnancy in season one, and he ends up divorcing her and he dates a few girls, Rachel's biological mom, Shelby, which I loved her. Oh my God, man. I'm so, I was so upset that they didn't bring her back a few times because I really enjoyed Shelby a lot. There was April that he dated just for a little, a little bit. There was Holly. And then he ended up marrying and settling down with Emma Pillsbury, the guidance counselor at the school. This is my summary on Mr. Schuster and his role in the show Glee. Let's get into the reasons why I think Mr. Schuster should be in jail. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So the first reason Mr. Schuster should be in jail. Number one, he's a damn creep. He's so fucking creepy. One example I'm gonna start with is in season one, when he stared at Finn taking a shower and singing in the pilot, like, I'm not even going to explain <laughs> that much about this scene. If you see that scene, like, damn, it's so creepy. But again, when I was younger, I was like in my early teens, I didn't know what he was doing. I thought it was okay that he was staring at a minor who's taking a shower and he was staring at him sing. Now as an adult, that is so fucking creepy. If it was real life, he would lose his job for doing that. So damn, I just, oh. when TV shows are not being realistic to things like that, it pisses me off so much. And he got away with doing that. Oh man, that was so creepy. And he's a teacher. Oh, oh okay. And another thing is, um, remember when Mercedes and Santana, they sang, uh, they covered the song River Deep, Mountain High. Honestly, one of my favorite covers in that show because I love Mercedes and Santana. 
I prefer Mercedes, but I love that duet so much. I love when they duet together. It's so iconic. Both the bad bitches. When they covered River Deep Mountain High and they started to twerk, like twirl their, their butts a little bit. Twerk, 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 twerk. No. They started to do that. Mr. Shoe, you just see him? He was literally like this. <laughs> He was smiling and he was laughing at the same time and scratching his head. I'm sorry, but aren't you supposed to be their teacher? Like, on, like, ooh, man. And the fact that none of his other students reacted to him doing that creeped me out so much. I was like, again, why is he even a teacher at this school? I'm even going to say it right now. In season three, when he received that award, that Teacher of the Year award, I thought it was absolutely absurd. I don't think he deserved that award. Let's not forget everything else that he did, like all the creepy things that I'm gonna name, which uh, I'm getting into it. Whenever he performs with his students on stage, in season two, his students, they did um, the cover of Toxic by Britney Spears, and he also sang just because he wanted to impress that guidance counselor, M Emma Pillsbury. Creepy as Fuck, oh my gosh, and yet again, he got away with doing that and nobody revoked his teaching position or got him fired, like, he got away with it. I watched it as a grown-up and I was like, oh my god, he was doing that with students? How was he still in that school? Why did Mr. Figgins not, like, fire him? Another uh, performance that he did with his students that I thought that was the lowest of the low of when it comes to him being a, a creep, and I'm sorry I'm going to say it, a pedophile, is when he did Robin Thicke's song Blurred Lines, and he sang that with his students, and his students were twerking too, and he was like, oh, he was, oh my god, like, he was also twerking too, and he he even taught a lesson, a, a, a class, like, he taught a lesson on twerking, to his student and he still didn't get fired the only thing that happened in that episode was S coach sylvester calling him out and saying that oh like you do know that you just did a song covered a song about date rape and that you twerked with a bunch of students and you're married and you're a teacher and they're minors like yes i, I liked when she said that but that's it he after that they didn't fire him. They didn't report him to the school board. He still kept his job. I just, compl I don't understand. I really don't understand why he was still a teacher. Another thing that um, I thought was pretty creepy of him is whenever he shares his personal life with his students, I always thought that was creepy. However he feels to um, towards um, the guidance counselor, Emma Pillsbury, his drama that goes on with um, Terry Schuster, the girls that he dates, like everything that goes on in his personal life, his students, they just know about it. And it's just kind of creepy. I'm sorry, but I'm an educator at daycares. And I've also worked with kids who are like, not, okay, I'm not going to say that I've worked with teenagers, you know, around that age, like 16 to 18. But I've worked with kids who were around the age of like 10, 11, 12 years old, and even then like I still I'm not gonna share nothing about my personal life even when I've been in scenarios where some of my students have asked me a bunch of like inappropriate things about my personal life or are you dating someone you have like sexual relations with that person I just don't say anything when they ask me that I just like walk away that is the realistic way to go but obviously mr shu in the show if his students would ask him hey what position did you do this with emma pillsbury you know and i mean sex wise he would tell them the position because he's he's that much of a creep honestly think about it guys like really think about it he's a teacher a high school teacher and he's teaching his minor students who are around the age of 15 16 17 He's teaching them how to fucking twerk. Why is he not in jail? Oh my god. So that's the first reason. The second reason why I think he should be in jail is, let's be real, he's not a good authority figure. I'm gonna list off a few things that he did, honestly, and probably if you guys have seen the show, you know as well. When he black blackmails Finn with weed so he could join the Glee Club, I'm sorry, what? The actual fuck he bullies coach beast with coach sylvester 
in the first episode of season two when all she was she wanted was a place to belong you know she didn't do anything wrong he decides to stoop to miss uh, coach sylvester's level and bully coach beast and i'm not saying that coach sylvester is like uh, you know any better because let's be real i mean coach sylvester should probably also be in jail mr Shu is nowhere near better he should also be in jail that fucking annoying me is that he made himself think that he's a great teacher and that just because she does these awful things to students like insults harasses bullies and that he doesn't do that that oh i'm a better teacher and i should be in jail she's awful she's this bitch you're just as awful too his performances you guys remember that episode where it was um that spanish teacher that came in glee club and they sang i'm sexy and i know that guy was h-o-t <laughs> anyway do you guys remember that episode and mr shu did two racist performances and one it was a bull fighting routine that he did and he had the uh, 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 a hat on and obviously the way he was dressed was so stereotypical and i'm not mexican okay i'm black but i can totally relate to you know discrimination i can relate to culture appropriation and i can relate to somebody who is dressed up in a certain way that is appropriating somebody else's culture i completely understood why santana called him out and yet again he still kept that job after he did those performances and even when he did the la cucaracha he had his students dress up as well and it it's just so so fucking offensive i was so happy when santana called him out but yet i don't know why he didn't get fired he he should have been fired God, i'm so mad like he if you guys think about it, he really got away with doing all of that shit and nobody fired him. Nobody reported him to the school board. I know it's a TV show, but it pisses me off because there are some teachers that actually do things like that in real life and they go to jail and it's just, man, it just annoys me so much. Him asking Finn to coach the Glee Club in season four. I'm sorry. I also agree with Coach Sylvester in that one. He just graduated and he doesn't even have a teaching certificate and or nothing and he asks his Finn to coach the Glee Club while he goes on his sabbatical. Like that was so, what a dumb move. Sorry, but of course they lost that sectional. Why would you ask a 19 year old to coach a Glee Club when he doesn't even have a degree in teaching? I don't know why they made um, Sue Sylvester look like the bad one in those episodes when she was absolutely right i agreed with her jesus christ he got away with doing so much when he was super insensitive to marley when she passed out on stage after they performed the gangnam gangnam style after they did that she passes out and the only thing he cares about is oh you guys have to, to, to go back on stage because leaving um for any re reason mid competition immediately needs disqualification. I'm like, are you serious? That's what you care about? Who cares if they get disqualified? One of your students just passed out and it was obviously because she was dealing with bulimia, you know, with what Kitty did to her, that I'm gonna talk about that in another video. And instead of actually being there, trying to make sure she either goes to the hospital or gets checked with a nurse, he talks about the fucking competition. Oh my God, why is this teacher still at the school? He was so insensitive throughout that whole thing. Like, he didn't even notice that she wasn't feeling well. Not one single glimpse. And y'all want to tell me that Mr. Shu was a great teacher, you know? But if you really look through it as a teacher and everything else that he did, he should not be a teacher. He should be fired and he should be in jail. Another thing is when a writer, oh my God, that got me so upset. I know I wasn't the only one who was upset over this, but when Ryder opened up about his abuse story and when he was um, sexually abused by his babysitter and when Artie and Sam, they had the most disgusting reactions I've ever seen in my life, honestly. Ew, you're a guy, so you should be liking that. Why? What do you mean? Like a hot female babysitter does that to you and you're complaining? Like you should be happy. You should be happy. And Mr. Shu, as a teacher, should interview.
intervene. And honestly, if I was a teacher, I would send Artie and Sam to the principal's office and be like, all right, no, you guys leave. That was not okay what you guys did. That was not okay. That was not acceptable. I would like explain them why it was wrong what they did. But he didn't even care. He only, the only thing he did was, oh, okay, guys, that's it. You guys, you, you can't be insensitive. That's the only thing he said. And then they moved on. He should not be in society. He should not be teaching out of school. He shouldn't even be near kids, honestly. He should be in jail. The other thing is when he plays favorites with his students when he clearly shouldn't. He keeps saying that everybody is special in the Glee Club, but if you guys really watch the show and if you guys have grown up with the show, honestly, y'all know that Mr. Shu preferred Rachel and Finn. That's it. He preferred them so much. He gave them the most solos, the most performances. Rachel was his favorite. Finn was his favorite. I mean, he legit asked him to be his best man at his wedding. Another thing that's what I thought that was completely inappropriate. He's a teacher. He shouldn't be doing that. And that's why he should also be in jail. Last thing that made me so upset and made me realize that he's just not really a good authority figure at all is when he suspends marley for not wearing something like skimpy on stage like it was this she had to wear this like revealing outfit and she said that she wasn't comfortable and all the fucking guys they were like oh my god but i'm wearing this and i don't feel comfortable obviously for as a woman like we struggle with we have our insecurities we struggle with way more let's be real and it just when mr Shu completely disregarded that and instead suspends her i'm like why are you suspending her unless you wanted to see her in that outfit? He's a fucking creep and he was so insensitive for doing that. That's why I really thought that he was probably one of the worst teacher as teachers at McKinley High. With all of the reasons that I just listed and everything that I said about Mr. Shu, that's kind of the reason why I thought it was pretty absurd for him to win that Teacher of the Year award in season three. And I thought it was pretty absurd for him to even become a principal after everything he's done. I don't care if it's in his past, he never got called out for it. He never had any consequences for anything that he did. He got away with it and they put him as a principal at the end of the series. It's upsetting because if it actually happened today, like if a teacher actually did all of the things that Mr. Shu did in real life, like, come on, that teacher would be in jail, no doubt, and they would lose their teaching position for sure. But another thing that I wanted to talk about is um, him and Emma Pillsbury. I'm going to say it to you. I also did not enjoy Will and Emma being together. I thought that Emma deserved better. I'm being really honest. When she was with Carl, I pretty much enjoyed that. How Mr. Shu treated Emma was absolutely disgusting. I don't understand. I know there are some Will and Emma shippers, but I also know that I'm not the only one feeling this way, that Will and Emma were not a cute couple. They had their cute moments for sure, and I'm not denying that the, the actors have chemistry on the screen, but their characters, I don't know why people were shipping them. Like, I really honestly don't know why. Maybe I am the only one, and if I am, then fine, so be it. But I'm being honest, I really don't know why people were shipping Will and Emma. I don't like them them as a couple. Honestly, I feel like Will doesn't deserve to be with anybody, and I feel that Mr. Shu should be in jail. Yes, it's true. There were times where his he has been shown to be really caring towards his students, and he does try to motivate them to be better and you know encourage them to follow their dreams that is one thing that i can applaud him for but everything else that's it that's that that he's done the show does not make him in a good light at all example of a teacher who should not be in a high school honestly and should be behind bars and that's how i feel about Mr. Schuster. This is what I think about Mr. Schuster. Those are my reasons why I think Mr. Shu should be in prison. I'm gonna say the actor, I don't have anything against him. I have nothing against him. He's all right. He's, he's a pretty good actor. That's all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this rant analysis, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content if you enjoy. 
let me know in the comments if you guys think the same thing i know i know i cannot be the only one thinking come on like there are videos about mr Shu being a creep so you know i'm not the only one who thinks that he I, I can't be the only one who thinks that he should be in jail but anyway um yeah that is it and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully soon goodbye